All right. So we have definitions of rights and privilege mm -hmm. just to put this conversation into perspective. Okay. So a right is generally understood to be a specified freedom that cannot legally be taken from you without your permission. Right. On the other hand, a privilege um, is a right or benefit, interesting, <laughs> that is given to some people and not others. It is also known as, in, as an immunity granted as a peculiar benefit, advantage, mm -hmm. or favor. So again, a right is generally understood as a specified freedom that cannot be taken from you, whereas a privilege is a benefit that is given to some people and not others others it is important to understand your workplace rights and responsibilities in regards to pay and conditions health and safety and workplace bullying very interesting i like that we are really contextualizing this conversation to the workplace yeah. you know and um if it's even more exciting that the experts we have this morning to discuss with us um by the name of Oluwa Maiwa Ogutade yeah. is actually a human resource That's person well. so i have very interesting question to ask her this morning, uh, you know, um, in light of this conversation. Because, you know, I think um, when, you know, for instance, uh, you know, before the break, we established, you know, the, the um, advantage of having a nice boss, you yeah. know, a nice employer who goes out of his way to provide privileges that are not in your contract yeah. or they're not a part of the benefits and rights or perks that you're supposed to be collecting, mm -hmm. you know, aside from your pensions, aside from your medical insurance and all of this, you know. So, um, so it's very, it's, so it's, I think it's very, I think this conversation is actually very important, um, you know, in, in relation to the workplace so that people, our viewers at home, um, who sometimes <laughs> miss these things of can actually, you know, understand the difference. And, very exciting. We have our guest with us this morning in name of Olua Mayowa Ogutande, a human resource personnel. Good morning, Olua Mayowa. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Um, good morning. Hello. hello. Um, can, can you hear us clearly? Yes, I can hear you clearly. All right. All right. Good morning, Olua Mayowa. How are you doing this morning? Um, I'm very well. Thank you. All right, fantastic. So where are you? So you're calling from Lagos this morning, aren't you? Where in Lagos are you talking to us from? Hello. Um. Yes, Kenya. Okay, fantastic. All right. So many employers tend to find it hard to separate their rights from privileges gotten at work. Why is this so? Why is it that um, employees usually find it difficult to you know, categorize what is a privilege and what is a right in the workplace? Uh, well, uh, I would like to say thank you for asking me here. Yes. Um, yeah, so, the major reason why uh, employees call it to the friendship between the rights and privileges of them as well because they are not enlightened. Mm. Yeah, they are not enlightened. Uh, the majority of employees now in the media are not aware of what the Nigerian people are doing. Okay. And this this contains what uh, it includes the right what uh, the right of the employees. Uh, when you have the Nigerian labor you can actually go to see the steward's right of what your rights are, what the privileges are. Okay. Are you able to mention in this case? All right. Um, so for proper understanding, so our viewers can really, really relate to what um, we're talking about this morning. Can you differentiate an employee's rights from privileges? What, what, what are the rights and what are the privileges of um, employees in the workspace? Hello? Can you hear me? And I can, I can hear you louder, please. Okay, I said, so um, for proper understanding of this conversation, can you differentiate privilege from rights? Oh, you want me to differentiate between privileges and rights? Yes. Oh, okay. So when we talk of employee rights, we're talking of entitlement, 
that they are not confined by the employer. Okay. These, these entitlements cannot be taken away by any employer. So if, if someone works for, if an employee works for company A, okay. and another employee works for company B, they have the same rights, irrespective of, different, of having different employer yeah. or working for different companies. Okay. It okay. applies to both of them. So they have that right. So some of some of let, let me let me can I take some of the um, rights yes, of yes, um, employees? Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, okay. So some of the rights of employees, uh, uh, employees have the right to be given an appointment letter. Okay. <laughs> so you can't you can you, you can't just work for someone. You can't just so an employer cannot just say to start working without you having your appointment letter, which is stating the terms and conditions of employment. Okay. You know, you need to be aware of the terms and conditions of employment. So the employer has to give you the appointment letter. All right. The, the, employee, the employee to have the right to work in a safe and conducive environment. All right. Mm. So you can't, you, yeah, it, it's a right. Because you can't just, you can't, you can't go to work and you find a place dirty or 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 or, 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 or tidy. You can't work in, in in an environment that is not well kept. So that employee has the right to work in a safe and conducive environment. Okay. Another right is is and they, you are you are entitled to equal access and opportunity without discrim discrimination in right. the workplace. So you, you hello. Yeah, we can hear you. We can. Okay, so you don't, you don't, you don't discriminate between um, uh, tribes. You don't discriminate between religion. You don't. There, there should not be discrimination in the workplace. The workplace. So okay. Everybody has the right to equal access to opportunities. Okay. And everybody also has the right to get paid okay. the agreed amount or remuneration. For the job done or rendered at the agreed time. Okay. Okay. So uh, the, the employees also have the right to adequate provision of work tools. Okay. Mm. Mm. So they, they, so they, they even the employer has the right to exit from the organization at the given the appropriate notice notice period. Okay. Mm. So there's there so many there's so, there so many of them. Once you, if you go through the Nigerian labor law, you will see you will see what uh, you see the rights of employees. You see the rights of employees. You'll be able to know your rights and privileges. Okay. So privileges, on the other hand, are entitlement that does not belong to all. In the sense that a company here can provide a certain privilege to its to um, our employees, why the company B might not do the same thing? Mm -hmm. It does not apply to company B. Okay. Okay. So um, the the company A, the management can decide to take the management, unlike the rights, which cannot be taken away. Privileges can be taken away by the management. Okay. The management can decide not to give you those privileges. Some of those privileges, so, uh, 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 for example, uh, some, some companies do provide uh, free lunch. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Free lunch to the staff. It, it's a privilege, not a right. Okay. All right. All right. So a what? provision of free accommodation is a privilege, not a right. Okay. okay. All right, so okay, so, so this, 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 these are some of these these are ways in which you can differentiate between uh, an employee right and uh, privileges. A right is something that cannot be taken away by any employer. Yeah. It can never be taken away by any employer. Okay. What privileges are things that the management can make decisions and tell and decide to take them away. All right. So before you continue, I have a very quick question um, on my one. So you know, um, Ella, um, you said 
that you know um you know for instance working in a conducive environment is a right hello? yeah hello can you hear us hello? um I, I can i can hear you clearly all right okay can you how about now how about now can you hear me clearly Okay, I can hear you clearly now. Okay, fantastic. All right, so earlier you said um, that, you know, um, working, for instance, in a conducive environment is a right. You know, having the necessary, the, nece the necessary tools to do your job is a right. Now, and now you said accommodation, you know, things like that, and free lunch are privileges. How is it easy? You know, what is, when, where, that, what is the thin line between, because, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, you know, once a company, once a company's policy is free lunch, then it sort of becomes a right. Is that, the, is that how it works? Or are we, are we defining the rights of the employee according to the standards of the NLC, as in the National Labor Congress? You understand? So what, what is the thin line between these things? Hello, can you hear me clearly? Yeah, Hello. I can hear you now. All right. Okay, so I said, you know, what is the thin line between a privilege and a right? And are we, the rights of the employee, is it determined by the Labor Congress of Nigeria? Are we determining the rights of the employee according to the standards of the Labor Congress or according to company policy? Okay, you, I think you're assuming what the same rights between the rights uh, yes, of the employees yes, and the Yes, yes, yes. So are we, do we define the rights of the employee according to labor law or according to company policy? Because, you know, earlier you said working in a conducive environment mm -hmm. is a right, you know, and you, 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 you um, pointed out that having free lunch um, is a privilege. So, you know, and once it, that privilege, for instance, become company policy, um, it seems to me that it now... According to the context of the company, that is now a right. So is there a thin line between this, or are we defining the rights of the employee according to the labor law? Do you understand the question? Oh, okay. So, so the thing is, that, that you, you, so, hello? Yes. Hello, we're here. Okay, so the thing for us, we got... You need you need to be guided. We need to be. We, 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 if, if there is no if, if there is no law in the country, there is no there is no offense. So these people can do things any way they like. Right. So uh, being able to differentiate between these things, like you need you need you need um, uh, uh, a law that 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 will guide your employer to be able to know how to treat their employees. Okay. okay. I don't think I've been able to answer your question. Do you mean this? Because without the Nigerian level law, we get so many laws. Not, it's not only the Nigerian level law. We have the pension law. We have, we have uh, pension law too. Pension uh, reform act. Okay. So we have so many laws that all to guide the, the, the rights of the employees. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me let me talk. Can I can I move away to to explain so that so you can so yeah? Oh yes, I, please. Point. Yes, please. Okay, so um, I would like to give an example outside outside uh, what I just said now. Okay. For example, jumping is a privilege, not a right. Hmm? Say that again, please. In the sense that uh. You need to get to, so you, there are certain conditions for you to be able to, uh, you need to get to the age of the thing, you need to know your state of driver's license for you to be able to, I need to be able to drive in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, this is a privilege, but we all have the right to freedom of expression, we all have the right to, to, to uh, life. We have all the right to work, uh, right to work. But that is a privilege, not the right. So in the sense that there are certain things that are considered as privileges. Okay. That the companies that a, a, a organization of the type to provide for 
for for the, the people that certain things that the organization can write provide for the employees. When when uh, a, a president can become a right in the sense that he is 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 when provided to everybody. And it's not provided to a particular person or certain person, then it's not the right of that person to not to to speak out. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so for example now, if if uh the organization decides to provide free lunch okay. to the staff and certain people are not getting that opportunity that free lunch, then it becomes the right of those people to stop to speak out. Okay, okay. All right, very interesting um, interview with um, Oluwa Maiwa Ogutande on the differences between, you know, the rights and the privilege. I got to learn about the rights as determined by the Labour Law and yeah. the Nigerian Labour Congress, you know. Um, you know, I didn't even know that, like, uh, honestly, I didn't know that, you know, um, the law actually specifies, for instance, conducive environments, yes. tools, and things like this. And, you know, this is why we do these kind of programs, for you to actually know some of these rights that you have, you know. Um, very interesting. So, for instance, if you're working in, a, in, a, in, a, in an organization where you don't have the tools to do your job effectively, yes, it's, they are trampling upon your labor rights. Apparently, mm. you know, when you're working in an organization that is constantly dirty with no sanitation, yes. your, your labor rights, it is, as a matter of fact, the organization is committing a crime. Yes, because that is trampling. pollution, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, and that is a danger to your health. So as mm -hmm. a matter of very interesting that the organization is actually trampling on your labor rights and they can be, you know, taken to court for, for <laughs> um, not having a conducive, a clean environment for you to work in. Very interesting. Although she said something, though, that really caught my attention. So she said that when certain privileges are given to some certain set of people in an organization, uh -huh. and then there are some certain set of people too that are not receiving those privileges that they can actually speak up. Mm. But, I mean, we just said it here that um, privileges are benefits given to some people. Mm. So, uh -huh. so I was going to ask her that, okay, so are you saying that, say, for example, you have 10 people working in an organization and then all of a sudden they start giving them, like five of them, food, dinner or, or um, lunch, rather, breakfast during, um, do, during the course of um, them doing the job. Yeah. And then along the line, the other five realizes that, okay, so why are they not getting the same lunch even though it's coming as a privilege to those five people. Because I just feel like if the company has decided to give five people lunch, right, it could simply mean that um, it is a decision that they made. It is still a privilege, yeah. not their right. So the other five people are still not entitled. It is a different ball game if out of the ten, nine people are getting um you know the, yeah. this launch and then just one person definitely it's a bad question it will make you want to like ask that okay so what about me yeah. do you understand because you'll be seen you you feel like you're left out you're being left out but what she said was when in an organization some people are given some certain privilege and some other people are not they can actually speak up because then it becomes their right. Mm. That part kind of like, I don't know, I was really <laughs> going to yeah. have her clarify, you know, yeah. that statement because I just feel like either way, it is still a privilege. It is not your right, provided that it is not stated in your contract. Yeah. And although I get exactly. the part where she said um, some certain privileges can become right when it becomes a norm mm. in the organization, mm. but if it is not extended to everybody, do you understand? If it yeah. is just extended to some certain set of people, yeah. I still believe it is a privilege. Yeah, exactly.